Selfless? Of course not. Just the thought of it makes me nauseous. Exactly. In a while, it'll all blow over. We just have to explain to Raph. There's that... nothing left to say. Raph! Finally, we were so worried. You and Mickey shouldn't worry, but Miss Sweet? She's committed a sacrilege. No, I. Don't you lie to me. I saw you, and I'm going to tell Dean Cassidy. But Raph, Sweet will get punished. It's not fair. She hasn't done anything. The Dean will decide about that. But Sweet's your friend. We all are. You're not acting like it. And then you let Sulphus escape? Is that right, Blue? He deceived me again. Deception is in the nature of a devil. You should have been paying attention. But it hardly matters now. What do you mean? It was time to release Sulphus anyway. That he ran away just solves the problem. But I don't understand. It's not your place to understand, only to do what we say. Now listen carefully, we have new instructions for you. And this time you can't fail. Gas, that must have been your fifth sandwich in the last five minutes. When I'm nervous, I get hungry. And when you're relaxed, you don't. Then too. Mm -hmm. Uh, Solfus. Would you mind telling us where you've been? We've been worried sick. I can explain everything later. I'm tired. I need a rest. Mm -hmm. Well, what's wrong? Sulphus, now's not really the time for a nap. Yeah, we heard that Cassidy and Cabral want to see you in their office. Raph the Rat filed a report on you. She claimed you kissed Sweet. And now they're starting disciplinary proceedings. That's good. Good? Did you burn out your horns? They could throw you out of school. Let them try. I know what really happened and I can prove it. Come on, let's go! Everyone may be seated. Stand up, Raph. To begin these proceedings, please state your case in front of the witnesses assembled here. Mm -mm. Well, Sulphus and Sweet were kissing. I saw them myself with my own eyes. It's a sacrilege. Can't you see that she's out of her mind? Coverly, sit down. Mysterious events took place here during the spring dance. An ear-piercing noise and a strange purple substance terrorized the humans. And that's not all. Exactly, Mickey. And it's our responsibility to learn if this phenomenon was caused by a sacrilege. <gasps> it's your turn, Sulphus. Stand up, please. Is Raph correct? Did you kiss Sweet? No! Liar! You're the one who's lying. And I'm shocked to know that an angel would lie. No! No one is lying here. Huh? What does that mean? Explain yourself, Sulphus. I'm pretty sure I know what happened. You see, over the last few weeks, I was held captive in the basement here at school. <gasps> <gasps> held captive? But you were with us! What you saw was not me, but rather a clone that was sent to kiss Sweet. Oh, that's ridiculous! It's the truth! It wasn't me who kissed Sweet! It was my clone! You're just saying that to avoid getting punished! Raph! Silence! Sit down! Ugh. 
You do have our attention, Sulphus. So what exactly happened to this little uh, clone? Well, I uh, have no idea. As expected, another lie. And with no evidence, you expect us to believe this? Hmm, no. I can show you where I was locked up. It's in the basement. They held secret meetings. Who is they you speak of? The masterminds. The ones who orchestrated the entire thing. And who are they? I believe there were two. And they always kept their faces hidden. They, along with a strange girl named Blue, tormented me for weeks. They also kidnapped Raph's mother. Now he's dragging my mother into this? Uh... Follow me. I'll show you everything. Hmm? Come on, what harm could it do? Uh huh? Ori, if what Sofa says is true, then that would explain everything. <sighs> Raph, you swear you saw Sulphus kissing Sweet, right? But how do you know it wasn't just his clone? Even if that's true, why is Sweet denying she kissed anybody? Huh? Nobody believes me. What do I do now? One ordeal at a time. First, we'll listen to the story told by Sulphus. Then we'll listen to Sweet. Go on. Take us to this den of mysterious enemies. <gasps> what did I tell you? I never knew this wall had a secret passage. I didn't know either. So where do those stairs lead to? The basement and the layer Calm of... Calm down, Solfus. The fact that there is a hidden passage in the wall doesn't mean your story has convinced us. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Let's hope Blue has followed our instructions. I hope for her sake, and for ours. This is incredible! What a shock! And underneath the school. It's dark and otherworldly, and it's making me a little hungry. What happened? Everything looks different. Mm-hmm. Blue has transformed this place into the barren cavern we requested. Now Sulphus will look like a liar. Well, Sulphus? Huh? Show us where they kept you imprisoned. Well, it was here. What's that? This is the lair of your enemies, eh? It was, but... And what about my mother? Ref, <laughs> wait! You don't understand! So go on and explain it, Sulphus. You made us come down here and said it would help prove your story. But now your story is unraveling and you seem bewildered. <sighs> this was the place. I'm sure of it. But now it's completely different. What do you mean? It wasn't a cave, but more like a basement. Hmm. Over there was a glass case that contained Angeli, And next to that were two thrones That's that... enough already. We will no longer tolerate these foolish games. But it was here! You have to believe me! We've heard more than enough, I think. You have no evidence, and I should have expected tricks from a devil. Oh. <gasps> so do you believe me now? Oh. Let's return to our chambers. Again? The gathering of evidence procedure is still not concluded. We still have to hear from Sweet. All right, Sweet. Now, give us your version of the events. And remember that as an angel, you cannot lie. I know. Well, I remember I was upstairs dancing when the... Get straight to the point. Did you kiss Sulphus? No, I... Are you certain of that? I don't. No, I mean, the truth is, I honestly don't remember what happened. We are starting to lose our patience. Now tell the truth. Uh, I did not kiss Sophus. I kissed a terrestrial, Alexander. Um, I'm in love with a terrestrial boy. Huh? <gasps> really? You stand by that? I know I should have said something right away, but I was too confused and afraid. I couldn't understand why mm. Raph continued to accuse me of being in love with Sulphus. Because I saw you kiss huh? him! It wasn't a terrestrial, it was Sulphus! No, I'm telling you it was Alexander! And I'm telling you it was my clone! Huh? Huh? Silence huh? now! Everything is crystal clear! Huh? There wasn't any sacrilege! But I saw them! Silence, Raph! Don't make your situation any worse than it is! 
But if there wasn't any sacrilege, huh? what's the deal with that awful sound we all heard? And that purple light? It was all caused by a discordant vibration. Raph was so blinded by jealousy that she confused Alexander with Selfis. And when Sweet kissed this terrestrial Alexander, Raph's heart, which is half earthly and half everlasting, created a single heartbeat in both love uh. and hate, generating uh. the vibration. But, but I know what I saw! So that means nobody gets punished, right? It's not that simple, Mickey. Sulfus! Even though you are a devil and devils have to lie, you have exaggerated too much this time. I only told you the truth! Silence! Because of your lies, you're suspended for two weeks, beginning right now. Poor Sulfus! <gasps> two whole weeks without school? That's more like a prize than a punishment. Collect your things. You will spend this period of suspension in Match City. <sighs> Raph, you've got to believe me. <gasps> now go. Huh? Fine. <sighs> As for you, sweet, you kissed a terrestrial. For this, you shall be punished with two weeks of anagram. You're taking away my powers? And that's the minimal punishment for what you did. <gasps> <gasps> The disciplinary proceedings oh. have now concluded. You can return to your rooms. This whole thing is all Raph's fault. Huh? Yeah, just a jealous brat. She can't have the boy she wants, so she ruins her friend's life. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. I've even lost my appetite. Don't listen to anything they say. But they're all huh? right. If you had just given Sweet a chance to explain, none of this would have happened. So you think this is all my fault, huh? Of course it's your fault. You were just selfish. Now go to Sweet and apologize right now. Who are you to give me orders? What's that? You've been waiting for something to happen to me so you could be the leader. You've always been jealous. Take back what you just said. Otherwise? Otherwise we're no longer friends. No, stop it. With friends like you, who needs enemies? In fact, I'm going to the Dean right now to request another room. <sighs> Moment to grow up is there, and so she has to live.